that's Friday, everybody. Thank goodness it's Friday, right? But thank goodness it's any moment of any day, anywhere, anytime. Um, we can always be grateful for something, even if it feels like that's not true. <laughs> so we've been talking about integrating mindfulness into different areas of your life. Now, I want to talk a little bit about integrating mindfulness into different times of your life. Basically, how do you keep this as a long-term thing? It doesn't want to just, you don't want to just have it be right now and then like, you know, in a week or a couple of weeks or in a day, it just goes away. You want to start practicing mindfulness as a, a, a lifestyle and therefore you need to learn how to, you know, you know, you need to figure it out for yourself how you can incorporate it in your daily life. Um, the key here is consistency. You know, it's like going, it's like working out at the gym. You know what I mean? Like you can go and you can do really well and you get all buff and you look great. And then you're like, oh, I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured. And you like, you don't go for a month and then it's two months and whatever. And you, you go back to where you were. Um, basically, I'm just saying you can't expect to keep the same results if you don't keep working at it. Um, and, you know, it gets easier as, as you are consistent with it. It becomes like a second nature thing. Um, and that way also when you incorporate it into your routines and everyday life, you will, and you're, you're sort of trained yourself to stay there, to stay in mindfulness. It'll be easier for you when things get hectic, when things kind of, you know, life happens and whatever, you can still stay mindful. You can still stay there. Um, so it doesn't have to be like a big deal, you know what I mean? It's just like small little things, consistent efforts over time. These are, that's what's going to lead to the long, longer lasting results. Um, if you do it sporadically, that's, I mean, it's still great. Just do it, but you're not going to get the full benefits. Um, whereas if it becomes a regular part of your day, you can really rely on it when, when moments get challenging. Um, you can do things like to, to, to remember to be mindful. You can do things like setting reminders on your phone. I have a reminder set for every two hours to remind me to like be present or, you know, think about this or be grateful for that. Um, you can anchor mindfulness into existing habits. Like we were talking about the other day when you're brushing your teeth, just have that be the habit, you know, you get mindful when you brush your teeth or whatever the case, getting dressed, taking a shower, whatever your thing is, eating brex breakfast, whatever the case is, build it into habits, into the habits that you already have. You don't have to start like big bang. I got to meditate for an hour and a half or even like a half an hour. You can start just, you know, start with five minutes and then build from there. You know what I mean? Like it, it you don't want to get overwhelmed with it. You don't want to feel like, oh, I don't have time to do it. And that's another thing. I was talking to a friend of mine about this. Like when life gets a little crazy, you feel like, oh, I don't have time to do this. But you know what the thing is? <laughs> If you don't do it, you actually have less time in a way because you're not doing things as efficiently. You're not as focused. You're not as productive. So if you take that five minutes, you take that 15 minutes and you allow yourself just to focus on your breath. When you go back, you'll be much calmer and able to deal with things as they come up or just whatever it is you have to get done. Um, I find that another thing that one has to be cognizant of is that like life changes we have to adapt right so if things change in your life or there's like you know more stress in one period of life or you know you're you're changing something whatever the case may be adapt be adaptable you know um you want to devote more time when you can and if you can't have grace with yourself just try and work it in for like five minutes you know what i mean do something or even just be mindful like you just make the effort every day but have grace with yourself at the same time and if life starts to change and the, your old mindfulness routine doesn't work with it then change it <laughs> and, and work it into whatever is going on in your life at the time so you know mindfulness on the long term is about consistency and adaptability um finding small ways and weaving it into daily life um and the more, the more you practice it, the more natural it becomes, the more it is, which is kind of funny because it is our actual true nature. <laughs> we've just learned, we've outlearned it. We've, we've learned not to do it, but that is, it is actually our natural state. So 
let's all do that, right? Let's all kind of get back to our natural state and enjoy life as it's, as it's happening. So if you guys um, want to kind of discuss what you've been, like, the, your experiences with mindfulness, you like the hand movement? You like the hand movement? <laughs> like, what kind of steps are you taking to, to make sure mindfulness is, becomes a permanent part of your life? So I'm just going to remind you guys as we are on our way out here that even if you forget, <laughs> you can't always choose to have a grateful day. <laughs>